Hey, this is Tim with Expert Power Wash. I have a really cool truck to show you guys today. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, here it is. So this is a 2012 F550 67 diesel. This truck was formerly a brush fire truck. Get the big old brush grill on the front there. We'll do a walk around on this side. Yeah, nice little truck. Walking on over here. This is the super cab. So the door there in the back opens up, little wing door. We'll jump right into the heart and soul of this thing. So full soft wash system, got the soap tank there. We have our oversized mixing system with the rinse valve there that rinses out the, the bleach. So you're able to run, uh, I'll show you here. So water, soap, bleach. When you turn the valve here, you can see that it says chem and water. We're able to turn this valve here into water. So obviously we turn the soap off and then turn the water all the way on, bleach all the way on, and then the bleach pulls water. So nice little system there that we have where we can preserve the, the pump and the mixing station here. I don't know if I'll be able to get a shot here on the back, but I'm trying to put the phone up there, but we have our on off switch and the pump is mounted to the back here. So it's all tucked away in there neatly. It's still serviceable, but it's completely out of the way. We have our dump valve here. This is an inch and a half. This came out really nice here, the way we plumbed this. So we got a T in there, that's a two inch bulk head. It's downsized there to uh, one inch and that feeds the machine. Step back here so you can see the side here a little bit bigger. So this here is our bleach tank. That's 100 gallons. This bed is all aluminum. You got the 325 gallon leg tank for the water tank. And then on this side we have garden, and we have pressure, and we have soft wash. You can see where we have some of the plumbing going up. Everything's all ran neatly. I'll show you the back here in just a few minutes. These are all electrics. So here we have two 18s with the stack kit. These are the full frame aluminum with the stainless steel manifolds. This right here is a 12 inch. This I believe is a nine foot bed. So it's tight, but it's exactly what we were looking for because we're able to still get into places where we can with our normal trucks. So it's just as big as a regular eight foot truck, but it's just a little bit wider. There's that nap hide bed. We had this fabbed up here. So a nice little ladder rack. We don't have any ladders on there yet, but that's where they will sit. So we have two eight gallon a minute machines here. You can see how they're neatly uh, put on the back there. Both belt drives. Got a 22 gallon gas tank there. You can see how everything is neatly ran. All the hoses are secured there to the bottom. All the hoses there run up the side. It's really bright out here, so you guys might not be able to see. There's some shadowing there that's uh, reflecting off the plumbing. But you can see that. Again, the two eighths there. These do have the regular unloaders. This will at some point be Siamese, so we can get 16 gallons a minute out of this truck. You can't do that with a uh, with the K7, so these are VR3 unloaders. Over here, this is our window cleaning reel. So that'll pull out of a filter system and then pump out to a water fed pool. So this is the same configuration as the other side. So we have two 18s and a 12. So I like everything to be all even and symmetrical. So this is another water hose. 
and then this is a uh, pressure hose. And these have our uh, ball valve swivels on there, all the plumbing's stainless. So you've seen how the machine pulls from the other side of the tank. This machine will pull on this side. So no drain needed on this side. We only need one drain. But you got the one inch T strainer filter. And that runs neatly over there. Got the bleach tank there. We had the ladder rack fabbed up on this thing. Over here we have our check valve injector. So this one is not going to have a bypass on it. This is gonna be more so a commercial truck. But if we need to pull the injector out of there, just pull it out of there and just hook the hose directly up to the hose rail. You can also bypass the hose rail if you'd like. So there's the other side. Again, I'll take you around to the back here. The way that everything is plumbed on this thing is very, very meticulous. Even down to, let me show you the wiring here on the hose reel. You see how everything is neatly ran. This is all heavy duty USA made wiring, uh, 3M heat shrink. Everything goes to there. It has circuit breaker here so if you wanted to turn that off none of these reels will work it shuts off power we have one of those on each side so this, uh, power comes from the battery to the circuit breaker and then from out to there to the reels so that is off now see how the bypasses go into the top there oh one other thing I wanted to show you really cool on this side So this has a Job float valve in there. Let me see if I can zoom in here to show you guys. So you've seen how we have two water hoses, so we can dual feed this. And this is all oversized. So that goes into the one inch T up there. With that being a Job valve, you can hook, actually run two hoses into that. Hey. Take you back around the other side. If you have any questions about this build, leave it down in the comments. If you'd like to guess what something like this would cost, put your best guess down there in the comments of what you think a truck like this would run. This is going to be our commercial rig. If you're interested in something like this for your business, let us know. I'll leave some information down in the bottom there. Be happy to help you guys. Thanks for watching.